Hello, sixth graders. This is Ms. Jenny, and we're talking about storyboarding today. I'm going to show you how to use the website Storyboard That to add elements to your storyboard base creation. This tool requires you to have word processing skills, particularly formatting, web negotiation experience, and drag and drop familiarity. It is not necessary to have art skills for this graphic creating tool, nor is it necessary to have your own account. In addition to being a creative step in making a film, storyboards can be used in many ways. You can use them for comics, timelines, presentations, illustrated content, story sequencing, and narrative diagrams. The possibilities are endless. You can find a use for a storyboard in any class, even math. Today we're adding elements to a narrative diagram. Because I've created this in advance, we'll need to choose the edit button at the bottom of the screen in order to make the changes. There is something missing in each panel. Take a moment to see if you can find them. All right, let's complete this narrative diagram. First off, Polly and Francis are best friends in the exposition, but Francis isn't there. Go to the top where you will find navigation bars, find characters, and she's a teenager. Let's scroll to see if we can find our Francis. Notice how each selection becomes a little bit larger as you choose it. Here's Francis. Drag and drop her into the scene. Now here's where it becomes a little more fun. We are going to add coloring to her. Black hair, brown skin, black eyes. I like her clothes, so we'll keep them in that color. Move on to the next panel by clicking on any place in the screen. In the rising action, where Polly and Francis are disagreeing about who is the better boyfriend in the Hunger Games, we need a scenery. Go back to the top and choose scenes. This scene will take place at school. Now there are lots of places to argue in school, but we're going to go ahead and have it in the hallway. Notice how the backgrounds go automatically to the back. This is convenient because you don't have to move around the layers. Going on to the climax, it looks like these girls are fighting. To add text, go to the text box. Notice how the text box formatting comes up. You can use any of the standard word processing tools, text, alignment, font, point, color. Let's describe the scene. Polly and, whoops, again, Standard formatting things you can do. Polly and Francis get into a terrible fight. What happens at a fight in your school? Yes, someone breaks up. Here we have our assistant principal breaking up the fight. Notice how his mouth is open, but nothing is coming out. We'll need to add a textable. Again, go to the top. Choose a style. I think this one needs comic. And here is a nice, powerful text box. Again, drag and drop. When you drop it, the text box automatically comes up. What would your vice principal say? Stop it right now! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Let's mess around with this one a little bit by changing the font and the size. Whoa, that's way too big. Let's make it a bit smaller. There we go. Oh, I see something else wrong with this text box. It goes outside of the frame. You use your standard clip art formatting to change locations and shape. Make this a little longer, and again, a little bit smaller. There we go. 
let's move on to the next panel. Now I know it's up to the vice principal as to what is going to happen to our dear friends. This time we'll have them being disciplined together. But Frances is missing yet again. This time, instead of creating her from scratch, we'll just use our standard texting and graphics tools. Copy. Here we go. We are going to use the edit pose. She'll need to sit. Should we change her expression? No, way too serene. We'll keep her angry. And we will move her here into her chair. That looks a little funny. She's sitting on Polly's lap. That won't do. Let's click on Polly and bring her layer forward. Much better. Now in the, in the denouement, we have got a problem, but this one's a little harder to see. Did you find it? Polly's missing her bag. Now you would think that this would be in shapes, but that's not accurate in this program. The props are under characters, way at the end. Again, scroll to find your prop, and here it is. Drag and drop. Resize using the clip art tools. And give it a color. Now we have finished our narrative diagram. Let's save it. It's complete and we can print it, download it as an image or a PowerPoint, create a slideshow, even embed it on a separate website or share it in social media. Have fun using Storyboard That. I can't wait to see your creations for school or for fun or a combination of both. Thank you.